What is gluten? Let's start at the beginning and look at what gluten is and where it is found. In short, gluten is a protein that comes from three grains, wheat, rye, and barley. At the top of each stalk of wheat are a cluster of seeds. The seeds are harvested and commonly made into flour. Gluten is the protein that is inside the seeds of wheat, rye, and barley. If you could look into the tiny bits of flour, you would find strands of gluten protein tightly wrapped around the molecules of starch. There are two specific proteins, glutenin and gliadin, inside of the wheat seed. Even after the seeds are ground into flour, the two proteins stay tightly coiled around the starch. Notice that neither of these is actually called gluten. When liquid is added to wheat flour, the glutenin and gliadin begin to unwind themselves and let go of the starch molecule. As the flour is kneaded or mixed, the water, glutenin, and gliadin begin to chemically interact and literally stick together. The bond that forms between them is gluten. This chemical bond is very stable and does not break down in heat, cold, or water. The longer flour is mixed or kneaded, the more gluten bonds form. When wheat dough is kneaded, the gluten develops and begins to form sheets. The sheets are very strong and elastic. This is where gluten gets its name from. Gluten is a very good glue that helps food stick together. Gluten is extremely useful in baking. Let's take a look at some popular foods that are made from gluten. Gluten is what makes food sticky, chewy, crunchy, and absorbent. It is what makes bread taste and feel like bread. The gluten in dough helps hold the air bubbles and moisture when baked. With proper kneading and mixing, gluten can be stretched very thin and produce a strong, light, flaky pastry. When you see roti prata being stretched so thin that it is nearly transparent, or pizza dough being tossed in the air without breaking, that is gluten in action. The primary source of gluten is wheat flour. There are lots of names for wheat flour, including all-purpose flour, top flour, self-raising flour, atta, cake flour, rava, suji, and bread flour, just to name a few. If an ingredient list just states flour, it can be assumed to be wheat flour. All varieties of wheat can be made into flour, including semolina, spelt, and durum. They all contain gluten. Barley is another grain that contains gluten. The proteins have slightly different names, but they function in the same way as wheat gluten. Barley is often used in soups and stews, salads, drinks, and beer brewing. Common varieties include pearl barley, hulled, and quick cooked barley. Another common use for barley is to make malt. Malt is high in nutrients. It is often used to sweeten foods and drinks. Malt is an ingredient in Milo drinks and Worcestershire sauce. Barley water is a common drink in Asia, and Vegemite is also made from barley. Rye cereal grain and rye flour are most often used to make traditional rye bread. Rye is also a common ingredient in beer and alcohol. Do not confuse a cereal grain rye with the Indian term rye, which is spelled R-A-I instead of R-Y-E. This is a different grain that does not contain gluten. It is possible to find pure gluten. This is made from separating the wheat starch from the gluten protein. Vital wheat gluten is often added to bread recipes to improve the texture and elasticity of the dough. Pure gluten can be used to make a vegetarian meat substitute known as setan. Gluten is a common and useful ingredient in the kitchen, but gluten can be the cause of some health problems. In our next lesson, we'll take a look at some medical issues caused by gluten and why people would cut gluten out of their diet.